Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the Chief Revenue Officer of TraySafe, Gord Zielstra. How you doing today, Gord? Doing great, Rich. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Very excited about TraySafe and your guys' future and the evolution of a growing company. And our modus operandi here on Rich TV Live is to identify early stage, undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed companies. And we believe you guys fit the model. Now, Gord, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with TraySafe? Yeah, certainly. So um, I'm... Um... I'm a 25 year veteran of, um, of the HR software as a service space, um, was employee number 15 at monster.com, uh, oh, wow. first sales rep, um, there, uh, helped launch uh, a couple of the, uh, global sites of, of monster, but it was in the early days of, you know, when we called it the World Wide web. And it was basically, uh, an idea that was a little bit ahead of itself but it was a market that was prime for disruption. And so I um, started my career with them in the mid nineties, um, based in Canada, but a US citizen. And so I had sort of the, op- you know, the opportunity of the world to kind of look at um, new and exciting ways to, to kind of sell and create value and solve some business problems. And that was really an early education. And, and throughout my, my 25 years or so in the space, um, have found different ways to kind of evolve my HR story. Um, when I uh, and, and spent uh, basically my career at five different companies, three of which uh, went public during the time that I was uh, looking after sales and partnerships for them, and two of them acquired. Um, most recently, I was with Success Factors as an early employee, and then transitioned as they were acquired by SAP um, a number of years ago now. So I came to TraySafe really through a referral of uh, of, of a friend who knew the uh, leadership team here. Um, we were looking at ways in which uh, we could expand our technology into the HR community and talk about uh, enterprise value as it relates to IoT. There was a great synergy for that in terms of my my own career trajectory and what I was looking to do. And it's just been an amazing fit. And for me, really exciting opportunity to talk about technology, to talk about solving business problems, um, to really expand upon a global career uh, on that and, and, and really to find some new challenges and um, and some great people along the way. So it's been an exciting exciting journey for the last sort of 20 months of my time at TraySafe. I can imagine. It seems like you guys have huge catalyst news coming all the time. Let's talk about it. Can you talk about some of the milestones TraySafe has set for 2022 with shareholders and what shareholders can look forward to? Well, I think you know we've got a we've got a number of things that we're we're looking forward to this year. We've had just a tremendous um, level of success in penetrating new industries um, through the press releases that you've seen. You know, we we've made some great inroads into enterprises with the you know the likes of companies like Micron um, with a global deployment, arguably one of the largest international um, employee based uh, deployments of of technology. We're seeing this real turn where we were able to help them with their contact tracing, obviously in the midst of a COVID you know, pandemic, but to be able to now stretch that into other business cases. So building layers of functionality on top of a contact tracing type of evolution. We've seen it with, with cruise ships and obviously with cruise ships really being ground to a halt um, on a lot of what, they're, what, what, what they've been able to serve in terms of their markets. Um, this industry is going to be able to survive with the types of technology that we're going to be able to provide, not again, just with contact tracing, but with new things about how you, you know, enhance the guest experience, um, enhance the employee experience of, of cruise ships and, and all of the different things that when they're cleared to sail, it will be because of TraySafe. It will be with hand in hand with TraySafe with that. And now we're exploring new industries. We're looking at agriculture. We're looking at food safety. We're looking at um, you know other aspects of just return returning to life as as it was, but also you know using that with a lot more efficient means in terms of the data we're able to produce off of our sensors as well. So a lot of great excitement with that. 
Now, Gord, since last year, it's almost to the day we started doing interviews and videos with Trey Safe last year, almost to the day. And last time we spoke to Wayne, you guys were really growing and starting to build your management. Is there any new team members that you guys have added that you want to talk about? And if so, can you talk a little bit about their success or past success in the public markets? Yeah, we've, um, you know, one of the, the big areas is, is you know, as, as you've mentioned to us, if, as you've said, you know, um, to, to your followers, you know, we're one of the understated stories here. And so we really recognize the need to beef up our marketing presence and, and how we tell our story as well to the greater public and to our investors. We've added um, a, a couple of new marketing resources. We're gonna add to that team as well. Um, but the latest addition to that is a, is a senior leader who came um, from working with you know, global 100 companies in marketing in a global capacity. Um, Rashmi joins us um, from Samsung and working in the agency world and that sort of thing. So she certainly had some you know, great technology um, experience and some global experience as well. And so we're rounding that up. We're also going to be expanding in terms of other geographies as well and helping us with some of the industries too. So we'll be having some um, new announcements around personnel as well. Now, the company just recently secured $3.2 million in financing. Can you tell us how Trace Safe plans on using these funds? Yeah. So, I mean, one of the things that, um, you know, we hear repeatedly in our sales cycles is companies choose us because, um, first of all, we've got a really unique way to, to be able to provide tools that functionally appeal to their customers, appeal to their employees, appeal to their business model. So, you know, we've mentioned cruise ships, we've mentioned the enterprise space and other spaces that we're going into. Um, the other aspect is our ability to be able to deliver those products in a timely manner. So a lot of the, the funding that we've been able to receive um, really helps us with our supply chain. It, it helps us, you know, secure those sensors and those pieces of technology that allow us to have some control and some have some visibility into that. So we can be very, very effective at turning around those devices in the volumes that are needed for our clients. Now you talked about it a little bit. Can you tell us how many clients TraySafe has now built in its portfolio for sales of its products? Yeah, so our go-to-market is both as a direct, um, a, a direct model. So we're selling um, in in daily conversations to new clients. Today we have dozens of of clients, uh, certainly over forty at this point in time. Wow. And then um, and then we also go to go to market with partners as well. We're seeing some growth and also some fine tuning in terms of how we approach the partner space. That means a few things. It means that we'll be able to, uh, you know, address new logos and add new logos um, at a at a at a new clip and at a new pace. But also in terms of how those how those partners serve to manage their own clients as well, and to be able to create data stories within that and integrate with their technology. So we see that number of clients growing really quite exponentially in 2022. Now, if there was one thing that you would want shareholders and potential investors to know about Trace Safe today, what would it be? Uh, so I think, you know, we, we tend to get pegged as, as a little bit of, you know, a, a story that defines an industry. And so it's, you know, calling us an IoT company or calling us a data play or something like that. And I think that we have our most profound impact when we're able to talk to companies about real live business problems. And that transcends sort of a technology story. It certainly, um, you know, allows us to give, get greater exposure to the types of people in an organization that we speak to. So today, you know, the types of conversations that we have are, are at the highest level as an organization, certainly at the C level, but we're also having day-to-day -day impact on people that manage employees or manage fans or um, events. Um, and, and it's really, you know, not a technology conversation. It's about, you know, making sure that there's a safe return to work or a safe return to sport 
or certainly, you know, ensuring that we're able to prop up an industry and support an industry at a large, large scale. And these are massive problems that are being solved as opposed to just sort of tuck in solutions that are, you know, data oriented or, or at, at a device level or something like that. And I think that the problem that we're solving is just, you know, is going to be one of the great legacies that we have in great in, in 2022, how, how, you know, the ability to return to, you know, the growth that we've seen um, in, and really propelling the growth of some of these companies is, is going to be hand in hand with TraySafe. Lastly, what is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about TraySafe? Well, we've got, um, I would say, a very open and accessible uh, team. We're growing around the world. So certainly, you know, depending on what market you're in, we've just recently expanded to Japan now. We're in Singapore. We're in North America. And so there are um, local reps that you can find and local people that you can find through our website. Um, if As an investor, certainly invest at tracesafe.io. Uh, I certainly welcome anybody to reach out to me. I'm a Gordon, G-O-R-D-O-N, at tracesafe.io. IO as well. And uh, I'll do my best to get back to you and, uh, and, and ensure that you hear firsthand the story that we have that's exciting people day after day. Super excited to watch you guys grow and evolve. It's amazing to watch how much you guys have grown and evolved in one year. I remember going through the website yesterday thinking, wow, this is really, really evolved. So excited to see where you guys are going to go a year from now. And thank you for joining us today, the Chief Revenue Officer of TraySafe. Gord Zielstra. Thank you for joining us today, Gord. Thanks, Rich. My pleasure. Now, before we say goodbye, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I do believe this is a company that is grossly undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, a very tight share supply, under 50 million shares issued and outstanding, just under 6 million in revenue in the last quarter. I think this is a great story, a growth story for everyone to put on their radar and put on their watch list in 2022 and beyond. Put TSF, TraySafe, in Canada on your watch list and on your radar and UTOLF in America. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe if you're live. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, Gord, for joining us. Thank and you. for all of you guys that are watching, we'll see you soon. Have a great day.